Hey guys, today you're going to have two very large assignments. Together they are worth 45 points. One assignment is worth 25 points and one is worth 20 points. So please, whatever you do, do not blow off today's assignment because I don't want you to sink your grade. I don't have an instructional video. I've got two really good PowerPoints for you to read through and take notes. Everything that you need for both assignments will be, or at least the first assignment for sure, will be in those PowerPoints. Now, both of these assignments use a Google Doc that I have created a template for, and you must use my Google template. So let me just click on this second one. This says calculating a paycheck. And it says, make sure you have reviewed the lesson on working with percentages and working with negative numbers, and then use the Google template and the given scenario to complete the paycheck. So you're going to click here. This is going to say, hey, do you want to make a copy of this Google Sheet? And you're going to, yep, sure do. And it's going to give you a copy of a sheet that I've already created for you. It has the instructions on it and everything um, that you need on here. You're going to read these directions and then you're going to use this employee information about this person, Sarah Friedman, and all of her employee information. And you're going to fill out this paycheck stuff. You're going to put her name, her address, social security number, how many hours she worked. You're going to calculate her gross pay. You're going to calculate all of these withholdings and you're going to enter those amounts here and come up with a total. And then don't forget to calculate her total check, which is her gross amount minus her deductions. Once you're done here, make sure that you've taken the copy of off of this. Make sure that you've saved it out to your drive in whatever area. You, hopefully you have a consumer math folder you've saved it in, but if not, make sure it's out there somewhere. All right. So once you've saved this or once you've finished this, it automatically saves in your Google Drive. You're going to go back to this assignment and you're going to say start assignment and it brings up this submission box. You're going to click on Google Drive. Then you're going to go out to the folder where you have saved that document and you're going to click on it and it's going to put it right here. Then you're going to hit submit assignment. And I think you hit upload file. I don't know. No, no, no. You hit this, click on the Google Doc, and then you hit submit assignment. But before you do, go back and check your Google Doc with the rubric and say, hey, did I enter the right name? Did I enter the address? Did I enter the social security number? Oh, did I do hours and hourly rate? Oh, yeah. Check. I want two points for that. Did I calculate the gross pay correctly? Go through every single point on the rubric to make sure you get all 20 points for this assignment. All right. You're going to do the exact same thing for understanding paychecks and tax forms. That is a list of questions that you are going to answer based on the information you get out of your um, PowerPoints. Not a hard assignment. It's just going to take some time and it's worth a lot of points. Both of them are worth a lot of points. So if you're struggling at all, please email me.